to ya it's your girl key i'm here at key for change i've been seeing clients today online and face to face because it's what the people need it's what the people require it's what the people want from me so what must i do i'm nothing but a humble servant for the people this is just another coping strategy for people dealing with conflict i want to thank people who have inboxed me who've had one-to-ones because the struggle is real and dealing with conflict i've realized is a real a real big issue for people and i think one of the things that i'd like to encourage you to do and it's something that i see that trips people up time and time again in terms of dealing with conflict this is especially true if you're a highly empathic person if you're someone who tells the truth and you kind of expect that people will be respectful or appreciate that well let me tell you this your girl keys here to tell you this don't reveal all your hand to people in conflict. Sometimes one of the things that we do which causes us a whole raft of issues is we over explain and we justify ourselves. Stop it. The reason why we need to monitor how much we over explain and how much we justify our actions is because we're giving them the power. Have you ever over explained yourself to someone and then they come up with a whole raft of solutions? It's not good for you. So one way is to be minimal with how much information you give people. Why? Because it's important to protect yourself. Because some people will use the same information you've told them to then whip you up with. Okay? So that's one skill of this. So that's the skill of discernment. Sometimes we tell people every, we tell them too much. And sometimes as well, those people can get jealous. They can get envious of us. And then you'll see more of their bad minded tech tactics start to kick in and if you're not careful that will be very difficult for you and this is especially true if we put people on pedestals get people off of pedestals when people are on pedestals you are there angled up looking up to them anything that goes up will come down and when they come crashing down it's going to be very difficult for you so if you also put people on pedestals be mindful it's not good for you. And I tell you what else happens when you put people on pedestals. It means that, that they're up there and that you're down there. And if you do the growth work on yourself and you start to level up, so you stop becoming a victim and you start to see the strategies and the nonsense going on and you start to level up, what will happen is those people will not see you as an equal because they're used to this dynamic where you look up to them and you put them on pedestals and when you level up they will have an issue with it because they will not see you as their equal and then what they're going to do is want you to get back in the box where you came from and that will be very difficult for you because you may have had bigger higher aspirations for them you'll be like oh my god i can't believe mildred is treating me like this i always thought mildred was my number one fan mildred was your number one fan as long as you were like this when you level up, Mildred will not appreciate that. And we need to be mindful of that because sometimes the backlash can wobble us. And often the backlash is things that lead us into things like depression and sadness. And if that's the case, well, one thing I'd encourage you to do is to inbox me and let's set up a, a fact-finding call. It's your girl key. If you've got any conflict, if you need strategies, ways to cope, feel free to inbox me. I'm here to be of service. I'm happy to put that in videos for other people so they can benefit from it. So if you're up for that, obviously I'll never name you or tag you. I'll just make other videos just as I've made this video today based on, you know, someone coming to me about another strategy that they need for conflict. Limit what you tell people. Don't give them all your hand. They will either use it to browbeat you with or you could be evoking people's jealousy. Let's face it, not everybody is going to be for your growth. Some of people want us to keep them on pedestals so they can feel great about how great they are and that you can be a little worshipper. When you no longer want to worship them, they will have an issue with that. It's your girl Key, qualified psychotherapist at Key for Change, helping people online, offline, face to face to deal with life's conundrums that, that is thrown at all of us. Do take care of you because if you don't, no one is coming to save you. That's the truth.